Hi there, I'm just about to put Heather's body together. I've um, put both the chair and both on the torso, like this. So I've rolled out, if you were watching the earlier um, YouTube, what I did was I rolled it out, I rolled it, I rolled out large slabs of clay and put them into each of these halves of the cast and then what I've done is I've gone round and I've reinforced the edges to make them stronger and I've scored them where my fork is oh fork old fork just score round the edges to rough them up like that what I'm going to do now is apply slip slip is just clay and water it's the same clay that I'm using and I'm just going around the edges like this to make them nice and damp. And what happens with the slip is when the two pieces are pushed together, the slip goes into the roughened surface on both sides and helps join them together initially. And then when it's in the kiln and it fires up, the slip solidifies and becomes solid clay. So if I've got wet clay pushing into these areas and then pushing into the areas, the same areas on the other side, and they link in together, when it goes in the kiln and it fires and it solidifies, it actually makes it a very solid join. If you don't use slip, you can push clay together. Once, once clay started drying out and shrinking, it doesn't join together that easily you, you think it does you know like i've got lots of sticky little bits of clay here that are pushed on here that are just stuck on little flakes but when things fire in the kiln and they super dry out anything that's not properly attached will just fall apart you can do it with brand new clay straight out of the bag, bag like i was doing on my earlier thing it will work but once it started drying and shrinking, it just doesn't. And when I used to teach, I used to say to kids, what you need is a rough textured surface, a bit like um, a deep pile carpet, so really rough and textured. And this is your spaghetti bolognese. And if you took a plate of spaghetti bolognese that you've chopped up so it's nice and wet and gluey, dropped it on a deep hard part carpet and then really pushed it in you wouldn't get it out your mother would hate you um, but you wouldn't get it out so the idea is that this scoring has made this the rough textured surface this clay and it is sort of like lumpy wet clay the slip you can if you're really um, OCD about having everything perfectly done you can get an old um, handheld mixer and do it. And when I was teaching, and we used to get through a lot of slip, we used to mix it up. I had a really nice technician called Avril who could make up tons and tons of the stuff um, because we get through it. And all it is is just the same clay that I use with water, mixed with water. I use just a fork or a spoon to smash it all together. Um, but... As I say, you just use a, a mixer to do that. And that gives you a nice sort of creamy paste. And if I ever get enough time to get my act together, because I'm, believe it or not, I'm quite a busy person, <laughs> then I'll probably make some more. I keep fantasising that when I get a big holiday, that I'll actually get on top of lots of things like that. But um, in my experience, things don't happen today. Day, for instance, I've had somebody come and collect a couple of sculptures for a big private commission, and I've had to go and collect some of the pieces that were cast at the casting studio for another commission and take those down to Saffron Gallery because um, uh, they've got Sussex framing there and they're really good at framing, they're going to frame them. And, um, and then I've come home and I've had to send some stuff off to some other guys who bought some stuff for me. And I'm also making Heather, so life's exciting, but I don't have time to so I'm just going to call Peter because getting these lined up is quite hard. Darling, are you around? Woo! Could you help me? I'm sorry.
Sorry, I'm YouTubing, so you'll have to be on YouTube. You was YouTubing? Yeah, don't you? knock the tripod. Okay. Right. Okay, I'd like you that side. Right, we're going to lift this one. And what we'll do, if you can get your hands... Now, this bit's not going to join here, and the armpits aren't going to join. So if you can hold her somewhere where she's not going to join with your arms, so that if we turn them over, okay. your arms will go this right way, so you need to be back to front. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to go like... Okay. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Okay. You, you just do it. Okay. But you need to line it up and get your hands out of the way. Right. It's just falling out. Don't worry. Just. Oh, yeah. that's what I wanted to do. Wait a sec. Let me do this. Okay. Here we go. That's why you need to grab it. Okay. Like that. Does it line up in your. at the top there at all? Yeah. together as opposed to the clay. Um, so that's it. Well, that's okay. Here, it's coming to you. It's not too bad this time. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. I would say that as long as you're fairly patient and calm and don't panic too much like then when the clay's dropping out a bit, you can encourage it when it's still soft to go back where you want it. moment the clay in the back of this is collapsing down a little bit. It's not too bad. Um, but it's collapsing down a little bit so there's a chance that things like her bottom will be really flat. So what I need to do, oh it's not too bad at all actually. Do you want to come and have, I don't know if you'll be able to see in here because of the light. Let me have a look. Okay. Here we go. Can you, I don't know, it might be too dark, that's the inside of the piece. There are spaces where there's light shining through, so I'll need to get my hands in. Sorry if this makes you feel sick as I'm zooming it around. Um, basically what I'm going to do now, 